Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lens Island on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. Lens out gathering uh, stuff. Now that we can carry a thousand, I'm out filling up my inventory of all these uh, good things to uh, take back with us. We've got to go drop down here real quick. So I'm taking a walk around the island. Now that everything is growing on its own because we have automation, um, I'm happy to be able to come out here at night and spend the nights outside, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, you know, it's nice to sleep and then get up and take care of your farm right away. We don't have to worry about that too much. So I have to carry, I can carry up to a thousand of each thing. So that's what I'm out doing is uh, going around the island, grabbing up all the goodness that there is so that we can do some building today. I really want to get into some of the building today. Gold Dragon. So I am picking up the flowers and all the good stuff as I go around and just grab everything. What's nice is it doesn't take too long to gather this stuff up. I'll open up my uh, tab here so you guys can see that. <clears throat> Been a frog in my throat all day today. Um, I don't think I need to go over there. That's just a couple of little small islands, and uh, every now and again I guess a couple of barrels are up there. It has been a while since I've been out and around the whole island. We kind of focused on the dungeon last time, doing a little bit of dungeon crawling. And getting some new weapons and stuff like that. Today I do want to do the building though. You'll see it doesn't take long to fill your inventory up, which is nice. Okay, so in order to get the quest for the fish, is you're going to have one of each in your inventory. So I need... Oh, I do have one of each in my inventory. Why didn't it give me the quest? Hmm. Or the uh, achievement. I was looking at the achievements, and I don't have the achievement right now. I meant to show this to you guys last episode, too. I believe it's the um, anglerfish that's valued at the most. The puffers sell for nine. There we go. Uh, yes, they, they sell for 30. Okay, so you got... The, the anglerfish is 30 apiece. These guys sell for nine. Uh, Five dollars. Ten dollars. Get your sardines for a buck. And your swordfish sell for eight. So the swordfish are third. Um, I'm going to keep the anglerfish for a little bit. I'm just going to hold on to him. For no real reason. I don't know. Just because I've got them. He's also got a two couple of fishing spots in front of his place here. He's got one here and one right there too. This is home sweet home right here. I'm going to leave these flowers by the water. Hopefully. That's my hope. That we can leave this kind of area alone. I'm going to do a little kitchen thing off the back here. And I think I want to do that in the brick. Uh, where? Oh, I just need to do the foundation. Yeah, two, three, at least three, like that, a little kitchen area right in here, and I want to put a, I want to have a couple of, uh, fireplaces in here for cooking, so I want to also, oh, uh, 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 careful then, I want to upgrade these to the stone, so the stone floor in here. What if we did the middle as uh, Pagoda Foundation? Uh, that doesn't look so good. Ornate? Ah, there we go. Like that, we'll walk in, we can cook here, we'll put our uh, workstations around the area here. I think that'll look pretty nice. And I should probably un make that... Uh, let's make a little doorway right there too. That leads into the kitchen right there. 
and then we'll upgrade. What, uh, what are we going to do for here, inside the walls here? There's the stone, there's the ornate. Hmm. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Let's think about that a little bit. Looks like it's going to be time to go to bed here pretty quick. Maybe we need to check our crops, see if they're doing all right. Everybody growing up to their fullest potential. Okay, yeah, it looks like I missed my magical moment for all the plants. Well, that's the, the, the wheat's not finished yet. Okay, so I missed the blueberries. How about you guys? Are you done? Not fully developed yet. Okay, good. I didn't miss the harvest, just the blueberries. Just some of the blueberries. Okay, we'll leave those in the ground right now. Oh, do we have uh, flour? Hello? Where are you? There you are. There we go, 382 of them. Morris likes the music games. Gold Dragon says sometimes. Uh, sometimes the music gives audio cues. Yeah, that's pretty important, right? Uh, Middleville Engineers, it always seems to be going off, whether there's a deer or anything else. Shimmy19, hello, and yes to music. Okay, Gold Dragon, Valheim music, especially sailing is wonderful. Yes. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lens, Lens Island music is putting you to sleep, huh? God, it's really just peaceful to me. Very peaceful. I love it. Uh, I don't think I have to sleep yet. Did anything happen over here while we were over there? I expect this to happen at any time now. We should be able to do a harvest here pretty quick and a replant. It's nice having the auto farm going on. It, it frees up a lot of time to do something else. So I've got a porch here. That's as big as a porch as I want. And when I come in, I want to have... I've got a kind of a floor put in up here. Right there. There we go. The magic has happened. I've not quite found a very good sweet spot for this. <laughs> But we're raking it in. And having that auto watering, whew, that's nice. A lot of less work. Bingo. A few more blueberries. There we go. Let's grab these guys here and we'll grab those guys there. Okay, let's plant it all over again. Uh, I'm probably too far from it, huh? There we go. Uh, wheat. I can't get. Uh, I can't get the all. Okay. Let's try that again. Wheat. Too far. Go too far. What? <laughs> That's what I thought. And over here we had blueberries, correct? Easy to grow and easy to sell. Oh man, everybody's ready. Everybody's gone pop here. Grab up all of our grapes. Oop, that's not ready to go yet. Every now and again, I find it difficult to get the icon to pop up here to harvest stuff. I've noticed that. As you can see right there, I can't quite get that lattice to show me its uh, food on it. That's a satisfying sound. Bunch of gourds getting pulled up out of the ground here. Nice. One more. How about now? Can I see? I can't quite get that to this one here to respond to me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I notice that really doesn't do anything but cause just a little bit of damage to you. Okay, that's our kitchen area. What's going to be next to the kitchen? Uh, we don't really need food storage or anything like that, so maybe our kitchen area just ends right there. Uh, okay, so let's go back to... What's the easiest way to build in this game? I'm trying to figure that out still. Let's go tab, and we'll pull this up. Let's figure out where our windows are going to go. So in the kitchen, I think I'm going to have a window right here and one right here. The rest of these walls should be solid, and they'll probably be, be stone as well. There we go. There. We're going to change those over to stone. Make it sort of, uh, you know, uh, give it, I guess, maybe a little bit of a medieval look to it. First, there we go. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get my holograms to show up for me. And we'll do that. And yes, let's go ahead and we'll change this to stone. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a wall here and a wall right there. Yeah, and go back to F. Change those out for stone as well. And that looks like it's going the right direction. That'll be flooring right there. Oh, you know what? No, I, I wanted to... I think I want to keep this open right here. And see if I can get maybe... Can I get a second layer on that? Uh, how do I get back to the build? Not sure. Um, I want these guys right here. And I want to go up a floor. So if I do that there, okay, now you'll let me come over this way. Gotcha, okay. So if I put that there, I can continue this along here. Alright, the sun's going down. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go take a slate. Struggling with the building. Trying to figure out how to get those level to level. We'll figure it out. Okay, so it's kept the house here, see? So if I gotta go, I'd have to go back to build and hit this down here. It's like I do. Uh, I guess it might give me one second to go get my coffee cup. I didn't grab it before. Um, I came in and sat down today. Okay, so we're going to have a nice walkway through here. Into the kitchen through here. We come out. We'll go up the stairs to the second floor here. Okay, if I put walls up here, then I can put, finish my flooring here. But then I don't want floor across here. I think what I'm going to do up here... And, uh, yeah, let me go get my coffee real quick. Um, I was thinking about putting some rails along this here. On both sides. And this looks down over this central hallway right here. Maybe I should move my entire kitchen over one just so it's there. But I I, I don't want... No, we won't do that. Okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. Uh, we'll do that wall there, a wall there, and we'll do a window here. Right there. Next floor is... Uh, that's going to be the top of the stairs right there, across from the top of the stairs. Maybe we do a window... So if you're across the way, you can look out the window there. What if we take this out and add one of those bay windows in here? I don't know if I like that right there. Depending on what we had downstairs, but it's right at the bottom of the staircase. So that might not be a bad looking spot for that. Mm. 
I was also thinking maybe it'd be better if we had one up here too at the top of the stairs. Um, maybe? Let's get rid of that. I guess if we have this here, we might as well have that there, huh? If we put that back there, we could change that to what we want it to be. We could put these all along here and have those extra supports all the way through the house, too. Right now I'm thinking about that bay window. Let's take a look at it and see. If I put this here, how does that look right there? They don't slide combined together to become one big tall bay window. It's got a cushion on the inside of it is what it's got. This one out. That's a window. And then I need to finish this up with a wall. Like, see, you know what? I am going to put a door here because it is going to lead out onto this. This is the end of the house. I'm not actually done. <clears throat> this is premature, this part right here. Let's put you up there. Okay, let's try it from this side and see if I get a better view. There we go, that's better. Can we do the whole... Thank you. Oh, I can't get around any further than that. Okay. And maybe we do a window there. And we could change these walls around after we're done here and add a few more things to it. I'm thinking maybe what I need to do is... Let's see what this looks like. If I take that out of there and that out of there, and I put one of these... Right here. Then, I could put this right here, 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 and here. We're gonna put one here, and here. I think there's a half one, as well. Yeah, there's a half one right here, so you can block off your staircases and not have that little gap that's in between them, which is a pretty handy little piece to have right there. Uh, let's go ahead and do that over here, too. We'll put that there. Rail. There's also a gate, but I don't think we need a gate. Oh, I don't have my flooring over here. There it is. Okay, we do like that. Like that. And then maybe a window here. Well, maybe... Maybe we do a bay window there. Maybe we do one of these windows over here. Something different. What's the big window look like? That overlooks the lake. You know what I'm. Th you know what? Here, before I let's let's do that. Let's get rid of that one too, and that one too. It would seem to me that this would be one heck of a view. What if we do that and put these balconies out here? We're on floor two here. We put a balcony there, we could put a balcony on top of that gazebo, or the uh, the bay window there. Ooh, is that the right spot though? It is the right spot, okay. Something like that there. And then, uh, I guess we could do a doorway here onto the balcony and a doorway here onto that balcony. Maybe also what we could do is we could take this off of here and this off of here and we could take and put pieces of flooring. Uh, hmm. Can't attach to the side of that building, huh? Why 
can't I put a piece? Now it's going to take that there. Okay, so let's take this out of here. Am I going to just... Okay. All right. Um, sure. Why not? What, is, what does this guy look like right here? I could put this guy right here. Yeah, but that dormer is really not doing anything, is it? It's not make sense to put a dormer roof there. Okay, now can I put my roof, my walls here? Oh, thank you. Very nice of you. This is another place where I want the big windows. One here, one here, and one here. This is the final floor we're putting on. Yoo-hoo! And I was thinking about putting the dormers up here on these corners right here. F. Where's my other staircase at? You know what? I'm going to have just the one staircase on this floor to get up to this next level. I could even do a ladder, but I prefer the stairs. Is this fixed yet? Can we reach these guys? Aha! Now all of a sudden I can harvest these. So yeah, it's just a weird little glitch that happens in here with the farms. I think I'll plant passion fruit this go around. They're not going to grow anymore. Not fully grown. So the blueberries have grown to their max again. I missed their uh, their moment. I think this would be the best bet, though. That little guy right there. And that looks like that might work for that right there. We've got the chimney and everything else. Now, do I want to have some sort of a balcony here? I'd love to do like a wraparound balcony, but I can't get these guys to stick to this wall at all over here. So, I guess not. We'll stick with this right here. It is our cottage in the woods. We've got lots of visual stuff. There's a map of the uh, island that you can, or a map anyways, of town that you can put inside your home. I figured we'd do that upstairs. And then we need to, I need to decide how I'm going to upgrade this stuff. I could actually put these right here just as a decoration type thing. And I almost feel like I've got to put these everywhere now. I feel like I do. Otherwise, the walls just don't look like they snap completely together. That's kind of how I feel about those. They've got to be everywhere. And again, for some unknown reason, I can't place anything there. Maybe I've got something like that already here, but... Oh, it must be out of wood. Now I must be out of wood. There. I'm out of wood and I'm out of stone, pretty much. You come down off the upstairs area pretty quick. That works. That works. We do a little station, workstations here and there. We've got a balcony right here we could stand on. One over here we could stand on. And then we were talking about doing a porch out the back. Which, how do I get out back to the porch? Hmm. A door right here would probably be good for that, huh? But we're going to need more resources. We, we also need to sleep. And we also probably have crops that are ready to go. 
Yeah, they are. They're ready. You guys ready over here too? We'll not grow any further, so we missed that moment for those guys too. Um. Those crops aren't going to go anywhere now, so I don't have to quite deal with them just yet. Lord Moronia, yeah, I've been waiting for Rising World 2. What are we? I think we're coming up on two years in November. Since they announced they were going to uh, update the game. Quite a few of us in here are waiting on that. There's just a couple of them working on it, so I understand why it takes so long. I've gone in and played with the new mechanics and stuff, and it seems really nice. I wish we'd get a little more of an update here and there. Seems like a lot of open world survival craft games coming out recently. Yeah, I, I watch them. I go in and, and take a look at them all the time. I'm always looking for something new to bring to the channel. You never know, you guys might really like it. See something you really like. Uh, I think a wood... I think I'm going to go with a wood porch here. That kind of covers up that area right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this tree out of here. Hoping to keep some of this stuff here. Did that piece of wood fall inside the house? <laughs> I think it did. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Not for a second. It got in. This, this is going to work, I think. This is going to work. Okay, so... Why is it so hard for me to figure out where I need to be to see this stuff? Is there something in here that I can't see? Might be a plant or something right here. Maybe I'm standing on the block. Maybe that's the problem. Let's get this out of here. I don't know what the respawn radius is to stuff. I think it's pretty tight because that tree keeps coming back right there. Uh, okay, so back to build. There we go, right there and right there. It makes like maybe that was causing a problem. Uh, I think I want to put one more piece of foundation over here. No, I don't. That's the fishing side of the dock. We'll leave that alone. Then I come out here and I can fish this spot right here. Which is awesome. Do 
do that. You know what? I could put a couple of half fence pieces on here. Ooh, I wonder if I. Well, no, I don't want to do that. I thought about maybe using one of those. Um, those kind of bay window shaped dock things here. Oh, I could put this guy right in the middle here, though, couldn't I? Oh, no. Look at that. Won't go half and half. It's got to be one or the other. Okay. I see. But now I can fish from here. Do some fishing outside the door. Come inside. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? I don't need to put a door down here at all. I guess I could, though, still, right? I mean, it could be interesting to have a door there. But for the most part, I'm coming out here on the dock. I don't know why I need all this over here now, just other than to hide the fact that we've got this uh, thing going on here. So maybe... Oh, good to have a nice back door to the house, right? So let's go... Let's take you out, and let's add another door here. Do that, and then we're going to add a staircase right here. And then... Uh, we need to do upgrade. To the stone. There we go. Gives us another access into the house. So, what material should I use for all this stuff? I kind of like the wood. Um, there's a lot fancier stuff, but I don't know if I want to use the fancier stuff at the moment. This is kind of a nice little place the way it is. I'm going for kind of a... It's certainly not a cabin in the woods, though. It's gotten much bigger than that. Hmm. Okay, it, it, it comes in pretty good. We can, we can do some work with this up here. We need to add some lights and stuff. Let's uh, talk about lights. Let's turn our light on. You can't really go out of the balcony too well. That's okay. There's balconies there. We've got plenty of room on this floor. This floor could be kind of, um, I guess kind of a seating area, maybe. Over here. Up here. Uh, all of our stuff goes up in here. I've got these arches in here. I think I need to take those out because we use those to get the roof on, I think, is what we're doing with those. Okay, some decorative stuff we should look at, too. Too far. Chase is looking for the Lords of the Ring game. Return to Moria. Next spring. I've been kind of waiting for that small land to come out. And I've actually got a few games on my wish list. Give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, refill my cup here real fast. I'll be back. We'll just let, uh, let Len here view his uh, beautiful farm that he has uh, grown. It's ready for picking, by the way. Very ready. And we should probably eat a little something, too. Before I walk away from this, I don't want him to not have food. There we go. There we go. I want two of those. Very nice. Yeah, two is good. Let me cook up a storm in that thing. All right. Um, we should probably have a workbench in here too. Let's go ahead. And, let's take care of that so we don't have to run back and forth for a simple workbench. Oh, this is not going to be a level three workbench though, is it? I see. So each one of these workbenches I put down, I need to upgrade it to get to to a level three. Uh huh. I see. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know for sure. We'll have to see. Uh, where do I want a workbench? Come in the door. Maybe right over here against... Uh, maybe over here against this wall. Kind of a workshop area downstairs. A simple one. We'll put it right in the middle of this wall here. Okay. Now, can I make everything that's available to me in that workbench. I don't think I will be able to. 
I can get to my all my tools and stuff. I can get to the decorative stuff, which is nice. And I can get to the small plots as well. But I'm not going to be able to get to some of the other building things it looks like in here. I don't know. Uh, bookshelf. How many parts of those? How many parts do I have? I have 199, so let's go ahead and buy a few things. Let's buy a table. Let's buy a rug. Candelabras are always fun. So is the small one. We'll get a couple of chairs here. What's this one? Small bookshelf, large bookshelf. Here's that map. Let's grab that. Uh, da, 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 da. There's a large drawers. Grandfather clock. Wooden light post. Ship in a bottle. No, nah, we don't need that stuff. We'll do another rug, though. There's a potted plant. What's this here? Coffee table. No couch, though. I don't see a couch. Okay, so we bought a few things. Wood, metal shards, wood, metal shards. Wooden fiber. Grandfather clock. Okay, that's not too shabby at all. That's pretty nice. I like that. Okay. I need some more wood. Oh, uh, no I don't. 265. Okay, so we had some rugs, right? Uh, ooh, what about a chair for the porch? Uh, we might want to learn something like that. Chair for the porch. Yeah, let's get a chair for the porch at least. Outdoor chair. And an outdoor table, I bet. Well, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to decorations. Maybe I need to go out of there, back into there. There's several different potted plants and stuff. What if I put a little rug right about here? And then I took and put this table right here. And uh, we have that nice little outdoor chair, too. I could turn it to... You could do quarter turns with it, looks like. Now, can I put a potted plant on that table? Well, holy crap, you can. Look at that. Big. Almost too big for that, but we'll get it to the edge of the table as much as we can. One of these guys in the front door. Taller one next to that. There we go. The lamp post, I think it's funny. You can't put it on the ground, which would make it a great spot for it to be, I think, on the ground. But you can put them, again, up on, up on here. Now we come home, we got a little something decorative on the porch. This is a huge room. <laughs> it's just massive. Can I build up here? Um... I can. I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. I didn't finish the ones outside. I remember that now. I'll have to go around the house and make sure I've got those in all the spots. Okay, what else do we have for decorations? Uh, tab. Let's go decorative again. We had a chest of drawers, and our bed is over at the other place. Go. 
Let's put a candelabra up in the room, I guess. That's pretty cool. You can set things on top of each other like that. I think that looks really nice. You know, you can get really carried away with the decorations and stuff in here for sure. Let's grab our bed and we'll sleep in the new place. I'll turn my uh, backpack light on for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Go to our bed. No, it's gonna be there. It is right there. Okay. Let's do that. Go back to decorative. kind of in the middle of these windows right here. We'll uh, do a little more work on that too. Eat some bread. That is pretty dang cool. I like what you can do with all this stuff. A lot of room for a lot more decoration stuff too to come to the game. Don't you think? I think the models are very nice. Uh, back to build real quick here. I'll figure out what I want to do to kind of decorate the outside of the house here a little bit too. Yeah, I love that. That is really nice. Go well. Let's let's do the candelabra over here. So we've got a little bit of light next to the bed. Seems like quite the light for the next to the bed, huh? But what are you gonna do? <laughs> candelabra by the bed. Interesting. Hmm. Looks nice though. I like it. I do like this stuff. That's pretty cool. Our kitchen's a little stale. I think it needs a light, some lights as well. We had some different lights. We've got these candle lights, which are kind of nice. Once these turn on, they light up a little bit. Maybe we do a little candelabra light, uh, a little candle light here. And one over here, too. Just to light up the entire area. Yeah, that should light that up pretty nicely. And then we need something out here on the porch. In our fishing spot. Uh, let's go back to there. Build. And I want to do one of these guys up here. We're going to go ahead and do a couple of them probably. We'll do one on this side of the rail. And one on this side of the rail. Oh, jeez. Go. There we go. Fishing dock. 
fantastic. I've only caught two kinds of fish out of here. It's the trout and the uh, bluegill. Freshwater fish, of course. We'll just catch one. There it is. Bluegill captured. Do I have... What do I have left in my inventory? We have gone through a lot of material today. We have 129 metal parts. We're actually doing pretty good. The only thing we've run out of today is the wood. The rest of it has been pretty sturdy the whole time along. We've done well throughout the day. So... I'd say we've got a hundred and some of those. Let's let's go learn some more decorative stuff. Let's go ahead and do the bookshelf. A fruit bowl. Okay. A couple of books. Sure. There's another rug. We've not learned that. I guess I can just learn everything. Glass lamp. That's nice. Different lighting choices. Well, we're burning through this stuff quick. All the decorative stuff has been learned. We're going to learn that too. We might as well learn that. I think I've got all the building pieces. Yeah, there's just the, the tools and stuff that is, is left to learn here now. Inside that uh, level 3 workbench. Back up to the bedroom. We're going to put in a few more uh, decor things for when we come up here to sleep at night. Uh, hello? Can I please see my bedroom? Hello? What's going on here? Okay. There we go. Weird. Okay, that was a little strange. We should put a little chair here with a side table to it. We had a little side table, a coffee table, right? We did, right here. There we are, and the globe. Let's make a little bit of this stuff so you guys can see it. A couple of books. fruit bowl that I was eating last night. No, we're not going to do the fruit bowl. Here's the map. We'll figure out a place for the map. We're not going to worry about the map at the moment. Um, tall potted plants. Uh, kind of hoping you guys just get a chance to see all the different little things you can make at the moment. This guy is cool looking. He takes a light stone, though. I've only got one of those, so I don't want to use it for that right now. Small bookshelf. Something like that right there. And maybe we could do another one of these... Makes the bed look kind of weird, doesn't it? Let's put that bed back. We'll slide it over here instead, like this. And then we'll take... Hmm. No, we won't use that. Let's go ahead and use the... Uh, small candelabra right there. Turn it so it's a little different from the other one. There we go, like that. There's our pad. That's where we sleep now. I think that's uh, much better looking. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. But we've got a ton of other space. I mean, way too big of a house. Way too big of a house. It's massive. 
not even necessary. Matter of fact, this here, and this here, we can go. We can add uh, maybe one of these candle stands right over in here. That would look better. Something like that instead. Yeah. And I don't know that you can actually use any of this. Yeah, you can't use the furniture or anything like that. It's just simply there for looks, for sure. Well, what do you guys think? We got a lot done today. We did focus on building, as I said we would. We're low on materials now, though, so... I think uh, next episode we'll probably have to go do some, some dungeon crawling. So we can uh, gather metal pieces again. I think it gives you a really good idea of what you can do in a couple hours. Now this building, I'm not super pleased with it at the moment. It's kind of, it feels a little boxy to me. But I'm going to do stuff to it to make it look better on the outside. It's not so boxy. And I don't think I had to go up quite so high with it either. I could have made it much smaller. But I like to see, you know, how, how big can I go? How big will the game let me go? It turned out okay. It turned out okay. I need to decide what I want the rest of the materials to be. Am I going to stick with all wood? Or do I want to maybe change it out to stone? I don't know. The wood's kind of nice. It goes along, of course, with the bridge we've got here that we can go across. The workshop is all brick. Over here, what I'd like to actually do is have um, two of these furnaces. Two of these guys right here. The refinery, have a couple of those set up in here with the workbench. And then they've got a couple other benches we can put in. And like I said yesterday in last episode, we're, he's got a bunch of other workstations he's going to bring to the game here as well. Everything is uh, harvestable. Let's see if this uh, stays with us this time. Not a single issue there. Not so far. Hmm. I wonder what it is that makes it do that. I don't know. I don't know what makes things, uh, I don't know what makes the game kind of wig out a little bit. Uh, there we go. Put grapes back in their place. And if you didn't know, you can leave the crops on here so your place just looks decorated all the time. With crops, you don't have to take them off. They will just stay there. They're not going to rot and disappear on you. It's actually just part of the decoration, which is pretty cool. But you know, you can put lattice in between these here and have vines growing all up and down your bridge walkway here. We could do it. We could have done lattice in here and grown grapes or passion fruit right in these little holes right here. You know, there's a lot of different options and ideas you can come up with for sure with what they've got to build with. Can I, can we represent some of the other materials? We sh I showed you stone. There's your stone stairs. Pagoda. And then you have, oh, that's, no, this is ornate. This is Pagoda. The Pagoda is really nice, a dark wood. I like that one. This has got kind of a, a woodsy Wild West feel to it, this, this wood right here. So that's why I've kind of stuck with that one there. I think we're good. We made it. We did it. We built the house. We've got it slightly decorated. Lots more to do. Um... And I think, yeah, next episode we're going to have to go back down into the dungeons and see if we can get a little bit further into that and uh, gather up some more of the uh, goodness that is down there and have some more battles. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I thank you all for being here. Let's, do we have anything going on in here? No, but we could. I forgot to do this. Ooh, look at that. 455 wheat. Very nice. Hey guys, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll do some more. Uh, give me some feedback and all that good stuff on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.